Generate exhaust to the real engine. Mm -hmm. uh, the fuel system is in that tapered section. Okay. Uh, basically, a broken gas pump for simplistic effects. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it doesn't. It will generate thrust, so that's where the exhaust ports are. But we're not going to separate it. This is not enough for us to keep it going. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so we're going to launch it out of Hawaii. So we basically are coming out here to get it. Do its final integration of the test and say that the payload is ready to fly, and then we'll deploy to the field. Okay. Uh, because the uh, velocities that they're looking for, mm -hmm. the range is too small here to contain the rocket. So we're going to go basically dump it over the ocean. Oh, okay.
Well, here, if you can just, if I can just stall you for five minutes to talk to you real quick, and uh, then I'll have what I need from you. That way I don't have to worry about catching you on the way out or anything. That's Kevin Jackson. And Mark Ruber, the PI. <laughs> Drew Hamilton, public affairs. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll bring this down and then um, we'll tap it. Yep. From the hinge to the joint. Yep. Yep. So you're the project manager? Mm hmm. Okay.
this until we're sure all the weights on it on the table. Okay, so I'll just make sure I'm trying to make sure that I can understand what the flight process is going to be because I may try and do an animation of it later or a uh, diagram. So it starts off, it looks like a fairly conventional rocket, right? Mm -hmm. okay. It's got a shroud over it, so it's got a nice point. Yeah, so right, you see that where that uh, yes. gray plate is that. up there. Mm -hmm. That's where the shroud mounts and goes above, so the shroud sits only over the top third of it or so. Oh, okay. And the rest of it's going to look about like this? About, yeah, there's some uh, exhaust well, covers right, that go yeah, over the two exhaust yeah, ports. Yeah, but yeah, yeah short of that, this is essentially the flight configuration with the cork getting closed out. So all the, the, the orangish or brownish cork areas will get closed out and okay, so over. That completes the thermal protection. You know, it's all part of it. you got to make sure you get all those places right, covered. Right, right. You're in trouble. Okay, so, uh, so it takes off. It kind of goes into a Coast, yeah, so there's, there's three the stages. So the first two stages boost you. After the second stage, mm -hmm. you coast. And you'll turn looking for an angle, flight path angle. So you're sensing flight path angle. Okay. And then does the shroud break and then the shroud breaks off? It, the shroud breaks off after you light the third stage. So during the first two stages, coast, mm -hmm. get to the flight path angle, fire the third stage. You're accelerating from Mach 2 ish to Mach 5.2. Which is where we'll deploy the shroud. So the shroud is actually deployed while you're accelerating. Um, exposes the inlet, and then at about Mach 6, the combustion experiment starts and, and runs through the time that we're going out. And the third stage is going to continue firing while the yeah, while third the scramjet is. Yeah, right. the, the payload is always attached to the third stage. Yeah, that'll go away. I was just letting you know it's getting ready to spin. This is loud. Yeah. And so, after the, uh, the scramjet fires and the experiment's complete, what happens to the rocket? It'll just continue to coast out. The rocket, the scramjet experiment ends effectively when we stop boosting. A little bit after that. Just like a shoot report deploy no nope. recovery? No, there is no recovery. It, we're flying out over the broad ocean and uh, coast out and going like a big lawn dart into the ocean. Okay. We wish we could recover. <laughs> we really do. But we have a fairly, because we're suppressed, we have a fairly long range, so it's hard to find 
overland ranges that you can live on. And that was actually, and the original concept of high fire was going to be flown in Australia. Because they've got a lot of, they've got a very large, yeah. Boomer, it's a very large, it's a huge range overland, area down there. overland range. Well, actually we got to where we were extending out and making that a challenge as well. Okay. So we can get a hold of some of the, the video and the still that you shot. Oh, too, absolutely. Perfect. Just ask. Okay. Just ask. Uh, you know, all yeah. you got to do is say so. Yeah, simple things like a video of this is nice to send back home to oh. management and things. And say, hey, here's just an update. You know, we went and did such and such and such and such. Easiest thing to do is 